all right guys so welcome back to a new video uh in today's video we are going to be going for some rocky mountain elk and the reason that i'm thinking we should do that is uh, in the last episode we went out and got a piebald rosy which means that we now have a rosy in the lodge but we are yet to have a rocky so let's see what we can do here um getting a 400 plus rocky it's not as hard as getting a 400 plus rosy so if we get a 400 plus that's gonna be a tax we are not gonna go anything lower than 400 and uh, yeah let's see what we can find here my route that i'm going to take is that i'm going to walk down to this little area hunt around here usually there is one or two maybe even three bulls in this area and after we walk down here, we should be close enough to where we can fast travel here for the one camping supply. Then we're going to hunt in this area, maybe even walk up to here. And we are going to end off in this tree stand, because this tree stand is very, very good for the elk. So, that's what we're going to do. And let's see if we can find something cool this hunt. Alright guys, so... We have made it here to the tree stand and even though we don't have anything special when it comes to elk, we do actually have something semi-interesting right here. So if I can just take out this female here, I will show you guys that on the other side of the lake here, we do have a pretty nice looking mule here. He's 210 to 235, so he isn't huge, but he isn't small either. So I think what we're going to do, because he's kind of stuck on that other side. Uh, he's just walking back and forth there and doesn't really know how to get to me. So as soon as we shoot everything here, and we know that we are not going to miss out on anything else coming in from behind us, I think we're just going to kill him with a gun. And then try and see if we can make the... Because we're going to go that way anyway, so... That's probably going to be the plan. There is a male somewhere behind us. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. So, we do have one male coming in at least when it comes to elk. So, that is at least something. Okay, so... Let's see if we can manage to drop this guy here. We can, very good. And there's a bear behind us, which I don't think can get a spot on. But if he just happens to walk into a place where I can shoot him, then I'm definitely going to do it. And ooh, that's another male. Hello. He's also small, but I guess we'll take him as well. If he just wants to stop and good night. There we go. Um, I wonder if he was in that herd, because there was a herd of females coming from that direction. And I only saw, I think, three or four females. So he might have been somewhere in that herd, I just happened to not see him, but I'll take it. That's another male down for the hunt. Alright, so we have a grizzly basically going as going to stand under our tree stand so if he just gets into a position where he stops i'm gonna shoot him but hopefully he's also going to stop yep he is very nice that will drop him and i guess i lombard him i didn't quite get the shot that i wanted but that should take care of business. So, those girls spooked that way, and they didn't spook the buck, which is good, but I think I'm going to stick around for just a minute or two more, and if nothing shows up, then we'll shoot that guy that's on the other side. Alright guys, so, I sat in the tree stand for like two minutes, just to see if anything would like to show, show up or anything like that. But I had nothing, so I think we're just going to take that guy while he's walking over there so kindly. 
and now it's just time to claim all of these guys and then we will uh, go and claim him if I had to guess I would think he is probably 220 I'll say 227 is going to be my guess for that guy so definitely not gonna be any type of personal best but it is a good start to the hunt to get something decent so early on all right so finally have made it to him so let's go for a quick claim here and see if he's anything special he is a 218 so it was smaller than I thought but I think we're gonna take a quick trophy shot of this guy just so we have that done and there we go it doesn't look the best with like the water and stuff in the background but I'm just gonna do it this way because he's not that big anyway so just gonna make it nice and easy and I think now I'm just gonna make my way down to the water and then walk upwards until I don't know if I'm gonna go this way or this way but we will find out all right guys so we do have a very small mule there coming in and since he is nothing special, I thought that I could show you guys something that is special. Because only a couple days ago, I did manage to get a rare that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. So, I guess I will show you guys the clip of that right now. Oh, oh my god, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this. But that's a melanistic pheasant with that score estimate. I'm not going to waste any time. But I want to take him through the air. So. He's flying. And we got him. Holy fuck. That is insane, guys. Jesus. I don't know how big they have to be to be a super rare. But. Melanistic 26.9 We are taxing that guy right away and let's get a trope shot just because of the farm And there we go guys, so I don't know where this is gonna be. This is probably gonna be in some type of video, but I've always wanted one of these so Yeah back to future me, I guess So yeah a melanistic Pheasant is something that I've been wanting for an extremely long time Because I just think they look amazing honestly like They're like black and have kind of like green in them. It's They just look beautiful and the fact that he also wasn't like a terrible scoring one just makes it better for me so We're definitely gonna go and take a look at that guy in the lodge as soon as uh, we finish up the hunt so yeah thought that I should just tell you guys about that since uh, it is finally happened that I actually f record a rare that I find while I'm just hunting normally alright guys so we do have another male elk on the way in and I didn't have any arrows equipped so we're gonna have to do that real fast there we go, and that is going to spook the other ones, but there were only females coming in, so that doesn't really matter. But let's just go and claim this guy. He is not big, but I think he's going to be the biggest elk so far, which he is. So now we are going to get to this tree stand down here, which is going to be the, uh, the kind of final part that we are on. And after this, I'm probably going to do a reset just to get two hunts in there and just take all the big animals from all those hunts and make it into one video. So let's see if we can maybe get something half decent. Ooh, that is a very good looking elk coming in. He does have all three back tines on both sides, but... He doesn't have the longest tines right here, which I'm pointing at with a spotting scope, 
which is hard because he's moving around a lot, but he is going to be the biggest one by today or of today by far. So even though we are going to wait, I actually see another one that I have to spot before. He is not even close to as big, so we are going to shoot this guy and everything that is here is going to spook, but they are going to come back later. But I think it was definitely a good choice to fast travel here. Since, uh, yeah, every single elk in this spot is uh, bigger than the ones that we have had the entire hunt. So let's just, I see another elk right there. And he is also a good one. Holy. Well, I guess we will uh, go ahead and take him as well. So this guy is coming into range now, so I would like for him to kind of lay right next to the other guy. Because that would just make for a good trophy shot, but if he's going to stop there, then we will take him. I don't want to wait too long, because there is another male sneaking up on us here. He isn't as big as those two, but he is a kind of average size one, so let's just wait for him to clear those trees there, and... That should be good. And it is. Oh, I love the heavy recurve. I maxed this bow out like two or three days ago. But for some reason I still use it. Even though it's not going to give me any hunting score. But that is just because I love it so much. But I am eventually going to have to let this bow go and move over to something else. But for now I am going to stick with it. But yeah. I guess uh, this spot is already paying off. Let's wait for the uh, other ones to come in and maybe even some uh, some new ones that we haven't seen yet. Alright guys, so we do have another male elk right here. And he isn't too bad. He doesn't have any back time, so he's not going to be the biggest one. But he's still going to be a pretty decent one, so we're just going to drop him right there there and we have not been in this tree stand for long at all and we've already had a good amount of milk or male elk good sized ones and uh, yeah even had a mule deer or two even though we didn't shoot them um still still a very good tree stand and i were, would very much recommend getting a setup here if you don't have it yet Alright guys, so now we have this guy that has decided to come back. I think this is the one that we saw spook earlier, so that's just when he's going to get in a good position. Lay right next to the big boy, we like that. And I did have another male elk call way out there, so we're going to see if we can... Uh, make him come in as well and if not then uh, we might go and do some uh, do some hunting around in this area because this spot is uh, very much providing us with a lot of elk at the moment all right guys so i think it is time to start claiming all these guys and we are going to start off with this big boy just to see what he scores let's see i want to be able to get a trophy shot with them so let's see here he's a 271 so let's go ahead and move him kind of towards the other one and try and get a picture of two of them at once I cannot make this work but I'm just going to take a picture like this, even though it doesn't look the best. But it is at least going to show off both of them at once. So that is going to do. Should I use a filter? Yeah, I'll do it. Let's just accept that. And now let's claim the other ones. And there are some females coming in, but can't really be bothered with those. So let's just keep claiming these guys. Let's see, this guy, this is the guy that has two back tines, so 
he could also be pretty decent. Yeah, three six seven was the score to the guy. English is hard. Um, but yeah, I would say this is a pretty decent hunt. And now all I'm going to do is do a another hunt. And if we don't find anything interesting in that hunt, I'm probably gonna post this video still. But at least gonna give us a, another shot at getting a, a big one or maybe even a rare we'll see but i'll get right back with you guys as soon as i find some of those all right guys so i did do a another hunt after that one but i didn't find anything that was really of interest i think i had like one elk over 300 so not really too good but here is the pheasant that i had which is really good looking. I really like it. So now we have our two rare pheasants in the lodge. And we have one elk as well. But now we need to get a rocky. So that is going to be another video that we're going to have to go and try for that again. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.